Lady Rita Ray, welcome to Crime Files. I think I'd like to ask you a wee bit about your childhood. What was life like for you when you were growing up? Who were your heroes or heroines? The, the only hero I had at that particular time was my grandfather. I was born in Glasgow of um, mixed parentage. My father was Scottish. My mother came from a, a legal, Italian legal background. And the hero that, that I was brought up to believe in was my grandfather. He, he was a lawyer in Italy pre the Second World War who um, stood up against fascism to the extent that he wouldn't join the fascist party. He was a man who honesty and integrity was absolutely paramount. He wasn't a rich lawyer, but he was an honest lawyer. And um, hearing stories about the way that he treated people, I think the message that my mother got from him was you treat a street sweeper in the same way that you would treat a prince. So right from the start, from the get-go, did you want to become a lawyer? Yes. Uh, your mother, I remember, always used to call you when you were growing up, last word, didn't she? Oh, well, no. <laughs> how did you remember that? <laughs> yes, um, because I, I always used to get... <laughs> I, I mean, it was as bad as telling my mother, no, I didn't get the last word, you got the last word, telling me I got the last word, so I still got the last word. <laughs> What was it like when you first went, uh, you had to be apprenticed after graduation? Yes. Being apprenticed as a woman, and in fact, didn't one of the senior partners say, a woman is emotionally unsuitable for court work? Correct. He said that to me. Um, and that was, a, that was an attitude at the time. But he gave me that an even greater drive to succeed, uh, the drive to want to uh, do particularly court work. That's what I wanted to do. I, I, I love drama. In a sense, I was getting the chance to get into some form of theatre. But, but was there a, a tendency to think it would be a, a specific type of court work as opposed to criminal work? Well, the, the, the fact of the matter was that at the time when I left that particular firm, you were, weren't really getting into court uh, often enough. And I got the opportunity to join a, a big criminal firm in Glasgow. And I think the senior partner thought that because I was um, um, unusual, being a female, uh, going into that type of work, and the catchy name, because I remember him saying to me, your name is quite catchy, Rita Ray. Um, and so I ended up running the criminal department at the age of 26 and uh, doing court work every single day. And I was really the only female that was doing it, court, court work, criminal court work at that time. How did other people, your colleagues, professional peers treat you as a woman doing that? You, you know, who's that real lassie? Uh, and in fact, I remember, I can't remember if it was the Times, it's Sunday Times who interviewed me, was, and it, one of the headlines was the real lassie syndrome, and that was how uh, women at that time, young women at that time, sometimes were looked upon. You, you weren't as welcome, I don't think. It, and even with the clients, it was quite difficult, but once they realised that you knew what you were talking about, they were easier to get, get over onto your side, so to speak, than, than, than the male, male colleagues, especially when one was at the bar. I remember one solicitor famously saying that he wouldn't instruct me in anything other than a rape case. Uh, and there were other firms that wouldn't instruct you because you were a Catholic. And it, that, 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 that was difficult to, 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 to in a sense, to take. But you just, frankly, you just got on with it. Um, I was never that quiet. I was quite busy. What sort of inner strengths? You know, one of the things that people will be surprised about, Rita, I know you're quite shy. And, and yet, you've got to have toughed this out. Um, how, how do you tough it out? What inner strengths are you drawing on there? Following my passion. Um, and also having the support of two wonderful parents. Um, they really encouraged me, especially my mum. And I'm um, sorry, I don't want to become emotional when I start talking about this, but yeah, they gave me the strength. And, uh, and it was my passion. The law has been my passion. And I think that's given me the strength. 
and you're allowed to be emotional. This is my Italian side coming out. That's where the emotion does. The temper comes out as well with the Italian side, but we'll leave that alone. <laughs> <laughs> and if you had an 18-year-old female first-year law student come to you and she said to you, Lady Ray, what are the best bits of advice you can give to me as a young woman wanting to work in the law? Don't let anyone put any barriers before you. Just follow your dream. And that's what you've done. Lady Rita Ray, thank you very much for joining me on Crime Files. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm.